Hi everybody, today is October 13th, 2014. WHO says Ebola is modern era's worst health emergency. This comes from Manila, the Philippines by AP. The World Health Organization called the Ebola outbreak the most severe acute health emergency seen in modern times on Monday, but also said the economic disruptions can be curbed if people are adequately informed to prevent irrational moves to dodge infection. WHO Director General Margaret Chan, citing World Bank figures, said 90% of economic costs of any outbreak come from irrational and disorganized efforts of the public to avoid infection. Staffers of the Global Health Organization are very well aware that the fear of infection has spread around the world much faster than the virus, Chan said in a statement, read out to regional health conference in the Philippines capital, Manila. We are seeing right now that this virus can disrupt economy and societies around the world, she said but added that adequately educating the public was a good defense strategy and would allow governments to prevent economic disruptions. The Ebola epidemic has killed more than 4,000 people. It's got to be up to about 4,500 now, mostly in the West African countries of Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea, according to WHO figures published last week. Chan did not specify those steps, but praised the Philippines for holding anti-Ebola summit last week which was joined by government health officials and private sector representatives warning that the Southeast Asian country was vulnerable due to the large number of Filipinos working abroad. While bracing for Ebola, health officials should continue to focus on major health issues including non-communicable diseases, she said. Philippine Health Secretary Enrique Ana said authorities will ask more than 1,700 Filipinos working in Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea to observe themselves for at least 21 days for Ebola symptoms in those countries. First, if they plan to return home. Once home, they should observe themselves for another 21 days and then report the results of their self-screening to health authorities to be doubly sure they have not been infected, he said adding that hospitals, which would deal with any Ebola patients, have already been identified in the Philippines. Last month, UN Secretary Ban Ki-moon urged leaders in the most affected countries to establish special centers that aim to isolate infected people from non-infected relatives in an effort to stem the spread of Ebola. Ban has also appealed for airlines and shipping companies not to suspend services to countries affected by Ebola. Doing so, he said, hinders delivery of humanitarian and medical assistance. Well, they got military planes that can go there. Commercial airlines have no business coming or going from there. As one person stated, I can't believe that these people are actually that stupid to allow air traffic to continue. There was a scare, what, two, maybe three weeks ago? A cargo vessel coming from the Congo. Three people were seriously ill. One had died. That ship came to the U.S. and went up the Mississippi. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Bookmark my site. I will keep you up to date. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.